Well, hello there folks and welcome back to the Whiskey Friends with me, Alan. Here we are today with another brand new video. Uh, Rob at Whiskey the Six sent out a challenge to Whiskey Tubers and I thought I would just do my own little take on it. He's challenged us to do uh, 10 whiskies to try before we die. He's obviously set out some rules. Uh, the rules are fantastic. It is whiskey that we've tried. It's not going to be a single cask or an independent bottling. It is not discontinued and it is not over 25 years old. If you don't mind Rob, I've added another little rule of my own, uh, just simply for me. Uh, they're all readily available and the different the rule that I've added myself is they're all age stated. So all of my top 10 all have age statements and they're all um, readily available. I noticed some of the guys have broken some rules, so I've tried my best not to break any. So without any further ado, here we go, I'll crack on with my first one. So my first one is I'm heading over to Springbank. I think everyone at some point, I see all my whiskies as well, it's not just about, it'd be very, very easy to put in a lot of great whiskies. And some of the guys have put in some wonderful, wonderful whiskies, but all these whiskies, I think they're great for a beginner. They're also great for a seasoned whiskey drinker, so I think everyone is able at some point to try these. So Springbank is where I'm headed with a Springbank 10. It's all non-coloured, no chill filtered, 46% ABV. It's absolutely fantastic and it's coming in probably around about 30 to 40 pounds, which is fantastic money. If you like, full of, this is full of smoke, it's full of oak. It's chocolatey, it's light, it's everything Springbank. Uh, again, once you get past this, you can actually go into some other Springbanks. Cast Strength 12 is great. Um, but I say this is this is fantastic. This is my number one. Again, they're not in any order, guys. They're not in any order of favouritism or anything like that. It's just I've just put them similarly off. I've put them in age as well, to be fair. So that's the only the only thing they're coming out in a lineup here is they're actually in their age statements. So the second one I'm actually staying on. Campbell Town uh, and uh, it's the Glen Gale distillery, it's Kilkerran. I'm sure lots of people have tried this. I've been doing this whiskey constantly. I don't know how many bottles I've went through. Uh, again, it's that 30 to 40 pound price bracket. Uh, it's even aimed at the lower end of the, the 30 to 40. So it's super, super. Again, it's non-colored, nil chill filtered, 46% ABV, like anything at Springbank is. Again, this is fantastic. This one is, it's complex for a 12 year old. It's, it's spirit driven. It's full of black pepper, fresh fruity, cereal notes. It's got, it's got everything. Again, this is super, super whiskey. And if you've not tried this King Kilkerran 12, I'll be amazed if most people are not, but get onto this and try this one. Okay, Glenallachie 12, guys. Uh, 40 to 50 pounds, 46% ABV. It's sweet, it's aromatic, it's spicy, it's fruity. It's from Billy Walker, formerly of uh, Glendronach. And I don't know if people have noticed, but Glenallachie has just been voted Scotch Whiskey Distillery of the Year. 2019 which is a superb uh, achievement I believe so it's spicy it's fruity it's full of apricot pineapple if you like those sweet tooth sherry drams this is a must and I'm sure everyone at some point must have to try this one next one I'm moving on to is I'm heading over to the States guys uh, no surprise this is I think this is on everyone's list this was the first bourbon I ever tried, Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, it is the old one, uh, it's from Heaven Hill. They produce a bottle of this three times a year, the ABC uh, bottlings, and as I say, this is, if anybody, I say it's the first one I tried. Everyone said it was a mistake trying this first, but uh, for me it was no mistake. This is what I think bourbon should be about, and I think most people are in consensus. This is the the daddy of the bourbons. See this one is bottled at 138.8. I think they range from 120 to 140 proof. Full flavoured, full bodied, intense, powerful. <sighs> wow. If you've not tried it, you've got to try it. Next one up guys is the, we're heading back to Spring Bank again. It's Hazelburn. 14 Oloroso. 
This one is, again, it's unchill filtered, it's natural colour and it's bottled a little bit higher at 49.3% on this one. Uh, this is Oloroso Cast Matured, super dark, super sweet. Uh, where are we? I think there's 9,900 of this one, so there's, a, there's still a lot of bottles. It's super, super, I can't believe how dark it is for 14 years of age. Uh, super stuff, and it is fantastic. I see they did do one last year, which is the Oloroso 13 year old. Uh, I have a bottle of that as well, that was super too. Um, I have tried this, this is the second bottle of this I'm on. Um, but it's, this is just waiting to get opened up guys, so if you've not tried it, get on to it. Next one up, uh, I think we're on number, what are we on? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, number 6. Glen Cadam 15. Uh, I did do a Glen Cadam series, so I've, I've done most of the Glen Cadam core ranges. This one again is another Ralphie Whiskey of the Year. Um, super, super stuff. This is a Highland Single Malt, and it is soft, it's fruity, it's sweet, it's light. It's full of bananas, full of apricots, full of ginger spice. As I say, it was Ralphie's Whiskey of the Year. This disappeared for a few years after Ralphie made it his Whiskey of the Year. Glad to see it's back and it's readily available. Again, this one's 46% ABV and it's in the kind of 50 to 60 pound price bracket. So it's not going to break the bank and it's easy to get hold of. If you've not tried it, you must try it. Okay, I'm moving on now guys to a couple of sherry bombs. Uh, first one up is an old favourite of mine. It's the one that got me into whiskey. Well, got me into drinking whiskey. Uh, as I say, everyone knows I was a collector beforehand, but this is the one that changed it all for me. This is not the actual one. It was the old revival. This is the new revival. This is the Rachel Barry version. She's slightly tweaked it a little bit, which has made this one... Oloroso and PX casks finishes whereas the old one was just predominantly all Oloroso. This is super super sweet again this is bottled at 46% uh, ABV no colour no chill uh, 60-65 pounds another sherry bomb uh, all those dark fruits dark raisins figs everything chocolate tobacco you name it sweetness dryness it has everything uh, again I hate to keep saying it, but you've got to try it. Next one up is the next one I'm heading on still with Glendronach, which is the Allardyce 18. This for me is, I've been drinking this constantly now for four or five years now. I don't know how many bottles I've went through. Again, it's another Sherry Bomb. Is it better than the 15? I think this is better than the 15. Just that little bit older, a little bit more mature, a little bit more age. Uh, it's still got all the dark fruits, all the chocolates, all the raisins, all the other bits and pieces. Again, if you've got a sweet tooth, guys, this is a must. This this is ready to almost, I think it doesn't break the rules, but I think it's ready to stop being available. But I'm sure there's lots and lots of this bottle around, all around the world. And I'm sure it can still be easily picked up. Uh, I think in the UK now it's around about the 90 to 100 pounds mark. So I'm just keeping this under 100. Um, I'm hoping... I've only got one bottle of these that's over £100. Well, maybe two. But again, this one, Glendronach 18, number 8, I think. Yeah. Next one up, guys. I've just done a Glen Farkas review and I thought I couldn't resist this one. This is the Glen Farkas 25. Still within the rules, 25 year old. The, the difference with this one, why this is a must for everyone to try, is the price point. It's 25 years. Uh, so not a lot of people get to try 25 year old whiskey unless it costs them a chunk of money. This one doesn't do that. This is this is in the £100 to £115 range. So for a 25 year old it's fantastic. Yes, it's probably third, fourth or fifth fill sherry casks. But again, it, it's sweet, it's, it's engaging, it's complex. It's got all the bits and pieces that you'd expect probably from a 25 year old whiskey except the darker colour. But I say that colour aside it has everything this is still natural uh, but the price point for me makes it a must for someone to try this and it's not going to break the bank to buy this guys so number nine is the Glen Farkless 25 okay guys this is the most expensive bottle of them all but it's the daddy of them all uh, it's the Glen Goyne 25 um, this is everything it's first fill sherry casks it's sweet it's dry it's okay it's woody it's 
it's got that leather note, it's got that tobacco note, it's got all those dark fruits, dried fruits, fresh fruits, you name it, this has it. For the money, it's outstanding value at £260. If you compare that to a Macallan 25, or you compare it to a Highland Park 25, or even if you head into like to Balvini 25s, this is easy money. This is still fantastic value at that. Other options that you can try basically is anything from Glen Goyne. 21's great, around about 100, 100 to £120. Uh, the cast strengths are fantastic. Um, even moving back to the Glendronox, the 15's great, the 18's superb. If you can get the 12, the 12's wonderful to start with. Uh, but they're all, say, even at Kilkerran, you've got the 8 year old cast strength, you've now got the 15 year old heavily peated to come out, so there's lots of them. Springbank, you've got the 12 cast strength all the way up, you've got the 15, which is wonderful. There's lots and lots and lots to these whiskies. The Glen Allake have now produced the 15. The 10 cast strength was wonderful. The 25, I've never tried the 25 yet, that's something I need to look out for. Elijah Craig's are all different batches. Hazelburn's 13 and 14, I'm looking forward to the 15 next year. Glenn Cadham, they're all wonderful, um, right through from the 10 year old, 13 year old, 18, 21, they're all wonderful. They're all super, super sweet and very, very easy to drink. Um, so unfortunately guys, that's my top 10. Hopefully, you've, if you've not tried them all at some point, you can take them, but for me, hopefully I've not broke any rules. I think I've tried my best to adhere to the rules. So until next time guys, thanks again Rob for setting the little challenge, hopefully I've fulfilled my little bit and you guys have enjoyed it, if you have enjoyed it please hit the, subs the like button, if you've subscribed thank you very much, if you've not subscribed you may want to hit that subscribe button and click the bell for future notifications, but other than that guys, I'm Alan, the Whiskey Friend, remember one thing guys, the pleasure is in the sharing, thanks very much, bye bye.